Hello, this is Lady Boulay, and I hope you are having a wonderful day. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for your thumbs up, for your comments, and thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for all you do to support the channel. Well, today, I'm looking at this picture of T.J. Holmes. And I guess he must be saying, good morning, America. I'm T.J. Holmes, and I'm a cheater. I guess everybody has heard by now of T.J. Holmes and his co-host, Amy Robach, being involved in an alleged affair. Both of them either are married or are in the process of getting divorced from their spouses. When this story first broke, I think everybody was a little bit surprised, but I don't think anybody really cares. This is a middle-aged couple. He is 45 years old and she is 49. So she's knocking the heck out of 50 years old. So this is what we're talking about. Both of them have been married twice before and TJ apparently is still married, but he has another ex-wife in the background. And this woman... I believe her divorce is final and so she's got two ex-husbands and now she has embarked on a relationship with her co-host on Good Morning America. And the outrage that I think many of us were expecting to hear from Good Morning America did not materialize because I believe they're trying to use this as some kind of a ratings machine. So that tells you a little bit about where their ratings are. This is supposed to generate interest in Good Morning America and everybody's supposed to tune in to Good Morning America to see what kind of chemistry exists between these two cheaters. Well, I can just tell you right now, I do not care. It does not matter to me whether they have chemistry or not. There is nothing they could do to get me to watch that crappy show. This is his wife. Her name is Mary Lee Fiebig, and they have a daughter. And she is quite a beautiful woman. She's accomplished. She's a lawyer. And I believe that she works or did work for Rock Nation Entertainment Agency. So they look like a happy couple here. But two years ago, this is what he tweeted about his marriage to her. This particular decade challenge is a little late. But 10 years ago, Marilee Fabig married me. And despite my best efforts, she remained married to me the past 10 years. That's not hyperbole. I'm not being dramatic. I gave her plenty of reasons, excuses, and opportunities to walk her fine ass out the door. But instead, with her built-in black woman superpower, she showed a grace and patience that's incomprehensible. Asking her for another 10 years would be asking too much. Another 10 months? That may even be a stretch. If she gave me another 10 weeks, I should consider myself lucky. If she puts up with me another 10 days, I'd be grateful. But if she would even spare another 10 minutes of her time for me today, I should consider myself blessed. This is Mary Lee Phoebe Holmes, y'all. And I, T.J. Holmes, do solemnly swear that I was her decade challenge. Now, in light of this affair that has come to the public's attention. People have gone back and brought up this tweet that was written two years ago. I don't think anybody knows what to make of it. It sounds like he's calling his wife a long-suffering wife who will put up with anything to stay in the marriage and he has given her every reason in the book to walk away. And then he says something that could be misleading when he talks about her built-in black woman superpower. This woman is not African-American. This woman is Zambian and European. So she's mixed. That's, that's who he's married to. But he's trying to make it seem like she's just a regular African-American woman. At least that's how I see it. But that is not what he's married to. He's married to somebody outside of his culture. And she's trying very hard to stay married to him because she's committed. She's loyal, but he's showing that he is not by saying that he has given her excuses to leave. Plenty of excuses and opportunities to walk her fine behind out the door. But instead, she showed grace and patience that he didn't understand because he feels like she should have left. 
that's what I'm getting from this. And I think that's what he's trying to say. Now, since he's put himself out there like this with this other woman, other things have come to light where he has admitted to this woman, Amy Robach, according to sources, that he had been unfaithful to his wife before he got involved with her. And she probably understands that because before she married her husband that she just divorced, Andrew Shu, she was married to another man named Tim McIntosh, whose picture I can't find. And she allegedly became involved with Andrew Shu while she was married to Tim McIntosh and left him for Andrew Shu. That's the word on her. So she understands infidelity. So I wouldn't say that either one of these people broke up the other one's marriage. They seem pretty good at breaking up their own marriages. So the other thing you can say about T.J. Holmes and this woman, Amy Robach, is that they deserve each other. I do not see this as a black man leaving a black woman for a white woman because according to sources, some sources, she was the one that recommended him for the job on Good Morning America in the first place. So she was like the white savior in this instance. Captain Save a Negro because he was out of the job. So she upgraded him. And I'm just reading what's been written on the grapevine. TJ Holmes has not had the most stable career in television journalism. I remember when he was on BET. And I liked him on BET. I really liked TJ Holmes. To be clear, I like him. And then he was on CNN and apparently he got fired from CNN. Nobody, let me back up a little bit. Nobody on BET could count on stability. Because anything that came across that made sense, that black people liked, and that gave information and knowledge and that black people could have been proud of, they're going to quickly scrap that to bring some kind of foolish nonsense that's embarrassing that... They, 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 the kind of garbage they shoved down black people's throats on BET. So it wasn't surprising that that job didn't last. But he was good in that job on BET. And even on CNN, T.J. Holmes was good. But in the world of journalism, for a black man, that's a slippery slope. Because what has been reported, what black men continue to say who have pursued careers in that field is that you either have to be LGBTQ or you have to be in an interracial relationship. Now that's what they say. I don't know this I don't know this to be true, but that's what the black men say. And most of them are not married to black women. And they're not straight. Many of them are not straight and they're not married to black women. Except for Al Roker. He is one of the ones that seems to be the holdout. And and Juan, Juan Williams is married. He is from the Caribbean. And I think he's married to a woman of, from his culture. But most of them are not. If I miss somebody, I'm sure you'll let me know. I'm not talking about local news. I'm talking about national news. The women are married to black men, but the men are not. I can think of one or two black women that are married interracially who are on national news or national cable shows, but most of them are not. So TJ Holmes might be trying to hold on his job. Somebody has decided to put them on blast and put these pictures out of them being together, socializing together, even to him grabbing her behind. It is reported that ABC has decided that this couple is not going to receive any consequences for this affair. And also that TJ Holmes was involved in an affair with a Good Morning America executive for three years. So increasingly, it looks like T.J. Holmes is trying to hold on to a job. That could be it, and it could be just that this is a cheap and sleazy place to work. I, I don't. I'm not concerned about these. Um, this uh, you know generic couple um, getting involved with each other. That's what they want to do. That's what they can do. But I think that his wife should take advice from a white woman who was in a similar position. Donald Trump's ex-wife, the late Ivana Trump, said when Donald Trump divorced her for Marla Maples, don't get mad. Get everything. So that's what I would do if I were Marley Feibig. I would get everything because 
She has stood by him. They have a child together. That child is probably 10 years old. So she's got at least another eight years of hands-on parenting of that child. And she's going to need money. And I think that for the, the stress of her hearing this in the public should cost him. She apparently didn't know about this affair. They were having problems and she thought they were working things out. When he's out there gallivanting with another woman. But if they don't work it out and they have to end up getting divorced, I don't think she should get mad. She should get everything. She was faithful. She was loyal by his own words. She's loyal. She's devoted. She's shown grace and patience. Probably more than an actual African American woman would. But that is what he has said about her. So all of that needs to go into the court document that I have tried with this man. And I love this man and I was a good wife to this man. I didn't cheat on this man. I was willing to welcome him back after he walked out. So now he wants to go off with another woman. I feel like her mantra should be, okay, Miss Amy Robach, you want my husband, you can get him, but that's all you're going to get because every time he get his hands on, I'm going to try to get hold to it. That would be what I would say to her and I wouldn't even be mad about it. I would take the position that I'm going to live as well as you live with your new love. This Amy Robach woman, according to internet sources, has more money than TJ Holmes. So my feeling would be, Miss Amy, if you want to take care of him, fine. But his check is coming to me. And she deserves it because when somebody does you like that, you're trying to make a marriage work. She didn't force him to marry her. She wasn't even pregnant. He did that because he wanted to. And then all of a sudden, oh, well, well this is not fun anymore. So I'm going to go out and get a girlfriend, have an affair. Well, you go out there and get somebody else, but the check is coming to me. Something of that nature. Because when you marry someone, every day is not going to be a bed of roses. There are challenges to being married. And there are disappointments. But in your marriage vows, you promise to be with that person for better or worse. For richer or poorer, in sickness or in health. To love and cherish. Till death do you part. Not until you get bored. And she apparently has upheld her marriage vows. And there were times when that joker didn't have a job. Because I went through his resume from about 2003 up until now. And there was a time when he was working on ABC as a temp. He was a substitute. He was substituting instead of going out and getting a job at Home Depot or somewhere like everybody else. He going to sit around so he could be on the air wearing makeup and all dressed up and things like that. And he's also a runner. He's got some Pookie and Ray Ray in him because he was married before. So he's walked out on a wife and two children before. He's an airhead and he don't want to get out there and do any hard work. He wants to sit up in a suit and smile and laugh and look pretty. And, and, and so that's what he has bought into. And she supported him. She was working. She, she's been lawyering ever since they've been married. So when he was out there temping and didn't have a job, not knowing what was going to happen next, she was, I'm guessing, footing the bills. She was paying those bills and keeping that household going. So she deserves something for that loyalty. And shame on ABC for using this as a ratings strategy. Oh, we're going to see if people are going to tune in to see how they interact with each other. Just go ahead and say you're desperate for ratings. Just go ahead and say nobody's watching your show. Because remember, on MSNBC, Joe Scarborough and my, what's her name, Mia, Mika, they were married to other people, but they were working on that show together as co-anchors. And they got divorced and married each other. So I guess they're trying to replicate this with this uh, Amy Robach woman and T.J. Holmes. I don't believe T.J. Holmes is that reliable. But we're going to see. We're going to see. But I like the brother. I like T.J. Holmes. He, he he seems likable. And he does remind me of Bryant Gumble. That was another NBC black person working that left his black wife for a white woman. And they gradually eased him on out. Now, unlike Bryant Gumble, people said he was arrogant. And people did not like him. But T.J. Holmes doesn't come across as being arrogant to me. He's smug. He sort of has a smug way about him. And he's cocky. But T.J. Holmes is a likable airhead. And I don't think we should be too hard on him. But I think his wife should be. I think that what Ivana Trump said should be, I'm not going to get mad. I'm going to get everything. Because I tried with you and you didn't appreciate it.
And if it's true that ABC is trying to use this middle-aged couple as a ratings grab, then maybe let's let you know that American television is not what it used to be. People are not watching this stuff. And that's good for the American people, I think. Okay, y'all, let me know what you think about this. Thank you for listening. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Share the video. And as always, have a great day.